So this is going to be an exercise I'm just going to show you guys to control the settings for your guys' SAT files that you're importing. So the first thing we're going to do, you guys have a project, we're going to create a new in-place mass. Let's go ahead and toggle through that. Uh, hit OK. Uh, we're going to go insert, import CAD. And we should see that. This looks good. Every, I already tested to make sure everything is going to fit in here. All right. And so we'll just finish the mass. It's going to hiss at us, but we're not going to do any kind of floor plates or anything, so we'll be fine. Um, all right, now we need to go ahead and create a view template for this. So none. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. We'll call this robot elevation. Hit OK. All right, and then so we're immediately going to start making some adjustments. Model display, instead of hidden line, I'm going to go to shaded, hit apply, OK. You didn't update, so I hit apply to this. All right, so now we know that we, that's the live um, template. So we can go then to our model and update this. Now, the reason we did the in place mass is under the modeling categories, if we scroll down here, mass is one of the options. So we can toggle that on. And then we can do some overrides in here. So if we wanted to do pattern override red, hit OK as a solid pattern, OK. Hit apply. We can make our guy turn red. Um, now, if we want to actually adjust the edge line weights of this, uh, we have to go through and adjust our categories or imported categories. So now, if we go under here, this is why you guys, as you guys are modeling, you want to make sure that you um, are working on specific layers in um, in Rhino. And so, when you're exporting these, you can go through and adjust that. Um, and let's see if it'll let me. I don't think it's going to let me rename this. Um, but if we go over here and our line overrides here, we can set this to gray and we can set the pattern to, let's do just the long dashes. Hit OK. Hit Apply. And that's going to update here. And it's not going to look very nice because right now we're at a really, really weird scale and I have no idea what line weight one corresponds to in this. Um, and I'll show you guys, I, th I think I'll show you guys how to do that in a different, but um, the other thing we want to do is um, we want to set our scale in here. And if I just scroll up, I'm going to set this to like, let's go three inches equals one. And you can see that that cleans that up. Okay. Uh, now we're essentially ready to, we can hit apply, hit OK. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new sheet and just dump that on there. Right click, new sheet, and that's fine. So we take this, we can just click, or expand this, click and drag that onto our sheet. Zoom out here, and that should be right in there. We'll have to adjust the clipping plane again. I'll show you guys how to do that in a different video, but now we can start uh, dropping our views on there. Okay, that's it.